Welcome to Pollen Weather by PollenWise App. It's Friday, June 26th. I'm Chief Aerobiologist Landon Bunderson, and this is the place for daily allergy news and forecasts. Well, we're still waiting on some good images of the Godzilla dust cloud dust, thanks to wet weather in southeastern Texas. By Monday, we should have images of the dust from Texas, Alabama, Georgia, and Kentucky. That's where a lot of the dust is going to end up. While we wait, we'll talk about your allergies and mowing the lawn this weekend. But first, the forecasted high pollen levels for today. Yesterday's wet weather in Texas and the southeast are part of the reason that today should be quite pleasant out your way. The Intermountain West, specifically Las Vegas, Phoenix, and parts of Utah need to look out for some high pollen levels. Ohio is the only place in the east that might see very high pollen levels today. Looking at the forecasted highs for mold, mold is going to be similar to pollen. Some very high conditions in New Mexico, Nevada, and Utah. Ohio, your mold levels will be the worst in the country again. Looking at precipitation, showers in parts of Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and the upper Midwest will suppress pollen and mold levels, making your allergy day even more tolerable. Over on the air quality map, the country as a whole looks pretty good other than parts of Southern California, Southern Nevada and the northeastern seaboard. If you live in an urban area, your air quality could be bad today too. Okay, somebody has to go out and mow the lawn this weekend. And if you're like me, you might have noticed that mowing the lawn can sometimes trigger your allergies or asthma. Here are a few things to think about when you're mowing the lawn or when you're near someone mowing the lawn. First, your lawn mower blade spins at 3,000 revolutions per minute. Yeah, 3,000 times a minute. That's 10 times what your ceiling fan is doing. That propeller pointed at the ground is going to kick up a lot of dust. And to prove that, last night I mowed my lawn right next to my pollen sensor. If you don't know about the PollenWise network of sensors, in short, our sensors take pictures of microscopic things in the air like pollen, mold, and dust, and then we use artificial intelligence to determine what the particles are. Here's a one minute sample of the air before I fired up the mower. Plenty of particles in the air, right? Now take a look at the number of particles in a one minute sample after running the mower. That's a lot more particles. And by the way, the highlighted ones are pollen and mold. So these particles came from the lawnmower bag, the clippings, and the soil. Even on a mild pollen and mold day, if you aren't careful, mowing your lawn can make the air around you equivalent to the worst pollen and mold day of the year. So what can you do about this? A couple of things. By now, everyone has a mask. I recommend putting it on if you're going to mow the lawn. Goggles also help a lot too. You might look silly, but you're going to feel a lot better if you protect your eyes, nose, and mouth. If someone else is mowing the lawn around you, move as far away from the mower as you can. Also, a lawn mower usually has grass clippings caked on the blade, undercarriage, and bag. Wet grass clippings are a perfect environment for mold, so if you're sensitive to mold, clean that mower off when you're done and don't use the collection bag if you can help it. So that's mold, but what about pollen? Well. Your grass produces pollen, so if you mow off the flowers, you'll be spraying millions of pollen grains into the air. Fortunately, your grass doesn't produce pollen year-round. You can know that it's producing pollen when you see the flowers on the grass. For bluegrass, ryegrass, and fescue lawns, pollination is usually in May and June. Unfortunately, for those of you who have Bermuda grass lawns, Bermuda grass can produce pollen for months on end. But it will help to learn to identify those flowers so you at least know what you're getting into. Another plant that produces allergenic pollen that is a common weed in lawns is English plantain, so look out for that too. I really don't have a lot of good ideas about how to deal with lawn pollen. Wear a mask and goggles, or better yet, get somebody else to mow the lawn for you. One last note, dandelions and other weeds with yellow or purple flowers are not usually a big deal and don't produce a lot of pollen that will become airborne. In summary, lawn mowers are kicking up a lot of dust, pollen, and mold. Pay attention when they around and try to avoid exposure to that dusty air when the lawnmower is running. I hope this helps you have a better weekend. Remember, download the PollenWise app for updates, forecasts, and information on pollen and mold, and like and subscribe to this channel.